Jake Bowers continues to put the ball in play, and when you do that, good things happen. A CNI single, IKF with a bunt, and Gratterall with the worst throw I've seen all year. He threw that to no one. Freeman was charging, but he didn't know that, and he still threw it and goes to right field. Then Higgy breaks his bat. Taylor decides to get the out at first. He shattered that bat. And I want to go back an inning here to something that was said in the booth that kind of has my head spinning. One of those dumb comments. Calling it a dumb comment is actually an understatement. It sounds like one of those drunk comments. Something that you would say when you have no idea what you're saying. So after Freeman fouls it off, apparently that makes him really good now because he knows all he has to do is, you know, hit a bloop here, a broken bat single to score a run. He doesn't need to barrel it up. He's really good because he knows with the runner on second, he doesn't need to hit it hard. He just needs a base hit. Look at Freddie Freeman tied up in knots in this at bat really all day. But this is how good Freddie is that he knows he doesn't have to barrel a ball now. Just fight it off. He's strong enough to hit it over the, the infield and drive in one with the, with the speed of outman. And after J.D. Martinez ties the game on his 14th home run, Herman hung it, J.D. destroyed it. Rizzo's on first, Stanton's up. Into the gap, Rojas smart this time by leaving Rizzo at third. Now, in my unprofessional opinion, if Judge was available, this would have been the opportunity. Anyways, Yankees are about to score their second run on a weak ground ball. Putting the ball in play, good things happen. We say it over and over again. I love Eswaldo's excitement after that as well. 